Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Second Chance Love. I am super duper excited as always for you guys to be on my channel watching my videos and today's haul is going to not be a thrift haul but it's going to actually be a TJ Maxx clearance Ray Dunn haul. I already did a Marshalls Ray Dunn clearance haul. If you haven't seen it already, make sure to check it out on my video playlist. And I am super excited to show you some lovely little goodies here. So before I do get started on that haul, just as a friendly reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would definitely appreciate it if you would. And if you like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, anything is welcome positive or negative is welcome absolutely in the comments below and make sure to hit that little notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded on my channel. Now before I do get started on the haul I thought I'd share a little bit of information of who I am and what exactly it is that I do and why it is that I do thrift. So I currently live in Southern California in the city of Anaheim. So I am surrounded by a lot of different areas and cities that allow me to thrift, whether that's in Orange County, LA County, Riverside County, you name it. I am surrounded by a lot of areas. And yes, I do live in Anaheim, which is home of Disneyland as you may or may not already know, I'm a huge Disneyland and Disney overall fanatic, and I live approximately five to seven minutes away from the parks. And the reason why I thrift, so I actually started thrifting about more heavily about maybe like a year ago. I never really did so much as I do now. I knew what thrifting was and I did occasionally do it depending on like on the weekend or after work, but I definitely got more into it while the pandemic. So a lot of, you know, a lot of people during the pandemic had the opportunity to try new things or, you know, do things at home, like crafting and spending more time with, you know, your loved ones. So thrifting, I picked up, um, me and my husband were very conscious about what we were doing. We were, you know, constantly going out when we should have stayed indoors, you know, just to be safe. And, um, but we've always been very precautious while COVID was and during now as well. We're very, very precautious. We're always wearing our masks and using our hand sanitizer after every trip or during our trips. So I love the thrill of it. Thrifting is so much fun. You get like a lot of things you never think you would find. It's basically like a treasure hunt. So it's basically like here is a map of all thrift stores of where you're at and now you have to go out and seek your treasure which is how i basically see it it's a lot of fun it's you just never know what to do um it's just the only thing that i do recommend is do not let it consume you because i actually have taken a step back in the direction of thrifting because we were hitting it hard we were hitting it like almost every day every week almost like four four or five times a week so it was getting a little too much for me personally i wasn't really enjoying it as much as i would um so i wanted to kind of take a break because then it kind of just becomes more of a chore if you're constantly doing it all the time and it takes out the joy that's personally my experience and my opinion i know some people may not feel that way but i feel like you always want to take a mental note and a mental break like just to focus on other things so that you don't lose track of any other things that you are working on so that is a little bit about me i'm going to constantly be sharing a little bit more about who i am and what we do me and my husband and just giving a little bit more of a personal touch to these videos as they come so i am really excited to show you guys again this is a tj maxx ray dunn clearance haul okay so enough chit chat moving on to the haul so i went to tj maxx and these were all in orange county so definitely take a note that some of these items may not be available at your local tj maxx it just depends and varies on what each store gets markdown and what pricing is availability so you want to make sure you definitely take that into account before you go out and rush into your tj maxx to see if there are any of the items that i show you here on this video so just take a mental note um so the very first thing that i'm going to show you and all of these were made on a few trips 
um, maybe possibly like two weeks ago and I just haven't had the chance to make a video. I'm trying to catch up with everything that I do right now for thrifting and it's this really cute class of 2020 mug with the topper so this is brand new again this was from tj maxx it's really cute it has the jar the lid um, for the coffee cup i'm sorry and it has this really cute dangly tassel for like the graduation cap it's really cute as you know um 2020 was a hard year for everyone and it involved a lot especially with school and graduation was just very different so these of course because they are 2020 edition and we're now in 2021 they are really cheap and i absolutely was in shock when I found this because I found two with this one it's two and these were such a low price I was just like my goodness I cannot believe that they're selling these for so low so this was a dollar a dollar and there's the original TJ Maxx sticker with the price tag and it looks like it was discounted a few times until it finally reached the dollar price so I was so excited like yes i don't you know i don't i'm not class of 2020 but i just couldn't pass up finding a raid done especially for this low price and this is brand new i did find another one exactly like that and it was also a dollar in price but this one i mean i still is brand new but it's not wrapped like the other one is uh, but this is just easier i'm glad that this isn't wrapped because then that way i can show you guys more it's the mug and this is the topper ray dunn does make a few mugs with toppers and i know they go like crazy when they're available so i was just absolutely so happy that i was able to find these at such a low price now i have always wanted these but i feel they're a little too pricey for what they are and they're the ray dunn magnets um they have like really cute um one word um sayings that you can put you know on anywhere on your fridge on anything metallic on your locker just about anywhere that you can hang a magnet so the only thing is though you're going to notice that there are only three so this is the ray dunn magnet set with the set it comes with the words persevere aspire and pursue so normally you get six and there's only three in this so i think that explains why the price tag so this was only a dollar and uh tj maxx it looks like again it was discounted a few times before it reached that dollar price normally i think these go for six dollars possibly and even in the back it says six glass dome magnets obviously that's the reason why i'm getting it at such a cheap value for a dollar it's missing three magnets but i thought i mean this is perfect it's a dollar it's a dollar for three magnets. I think that's still a really fair price and they are absolutely cute. I can't wait to hang these on my refrigerator. So I found some stationery, some really cool um, greeting cards. The first thing um, that's not a card is a list pad that's 70 sheets and Ray Dunn, it says shop. And this was for $2. I think these go for $4, $5 possibly. So I just wanted something simple. This is obviously going to be something for me to keep. Um, it's perfect for my shopping list. I can definitely do a little crafting and glue, hot glue a magnet to strip to the back. So I can easily put this on my refrigerator. If I ever run into something that I need, and I know I'm going to forget because it does happen and I'm usually go to the grocery store like around Saturday or Sunday. So then that way it'll make it just really easy for me to be able to write down what I need so I don't forget and take it with me when I go shopping. So if you guys ever do go into the clearance section, a lot of pads, notebooks, mostly a lot of stationery that is right done is going to be found at the clearance section. So you just have to dig through. Um, that's why I reference that Marshalls and TJ Maxx are kind of in a way thrifting. If you go into the clearance section, 
just because there's a lot of things that you have to dig through and everything's mixed up and tossed in into that whole aisle that you just never know what you're going to find and you want to look through everything just to make sure you don't miss out on a really good deal. So the other cool things that I found that I absolutely loved are these greeting cards. They're all brand new. Celebration. They were a dollar each. And these are all the same. It says best day ever. If you've seen my other video, I found some at Marshall's that were Valentine's Day and I absolutely love those too. And each again were a dollar. And what I love about these is that it comes with the envelope and it's such a pretty print. I feel like they um, have a lot of detail. It comes with a greeting card, a matching envelope, and a blank sticker for your own message or return address. So I thought that was really cool. These are really cute. I absolutely love them. I could send them out to my friends or family. So I definitely snatched up these. And again, all of this stuff was in the clearance section at TJ Maxx. And you're going to find them like in the stationary section when there's like books or like notepads or the staplers, the pens and stuff like that. Anything that is discounted, you're going to find in that section. Like that. Okay, so the next item are these really cute two birdhouses that I found that are decorations. I actually do not believe that they are meant for actual birds. I think they're just a core for your house so make sure you guys understand that i found two and a lot of people love the bird houses and after seeing these in the clearance section i absolutely know why now they're absolutely so cute for decorations around your house so this first one is perch and it's really cute and it has a little stopper at the bottom i'm not sure why i know you can remove that and here's the Ray Dunn tag. And this was TJ Maxx as well. And this was $6. So I know normally birdhouses tend to go for almost $15 to $20. So I absolutely was so in awe when I found this one. And it's so cute. I absolutely love it. And the other one that I found is in the shape of an acorn. So I thought that was absolutely so cute. TJ Maxx, this has a very cute black and white striped plaid bow and it says knock. So absolutely cute. These are all so cute. Um, nothing wrong with them, of course. I always inspect every item, which I also recommend that you guys do. Always inspect your items. Um, you just never know what you might miss. You want to make sure that you look closely in detail just to make sure that everything is good. And then this one was $8 at TJ Maxx clearance section. And what I actually, I really don't have that many items for this TJ Maxx haul. Um, I actually have two more items to show you guys, but those are actually brand new that were not in the clearance section. Out of all my stores, so TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is the tea that I'm spilling, but again, this is my personal opinion, guys. I just want to go ahead and share it with you. Marshalls, I honestly believe Marshalls, out of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods, Marshalls holds the best clearance section. I feel that Marshalls has a lot more items marked down and I feel that their selection in the clearance section again clearance is a hit and miss you're not always going to find everything and each Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods is different you won't find the same items most likely in their clearance section one store may have them another store may still have them as normal price so you always want to make sure that you hunt around and see what you can find but I honestly believe that Marshalls holds a better selection when it comes to clearance and a cheaper selection cheaper in price because um i actually bought a toy for my golden retriever and i was at home goods i went in to look around at their clearance section and, and their normal stuff and i was gonna buy a toy but i didn't find anything else besides the dog toy and there was a really huge line and i did not want to wait so i figured i was already going to go to marshall's i'll just go and see if they have anything there and i'll get the dog toy if i do um find it again um so this dog toy was i believe it was eight 
or nine dollars at home goods i go to marshall's same exact dog toy and it was actually marked on clearance and that was only four dollars that is a humongous difference humongous humongous difference in price so again i always recommend that you guys always make sure that you look at different stores different um marshalls and tj maxx and different cities i honestly believe that home goods is the most expensive out of the three even their clearance section i feel it's a little bit outrageously expensive for you what you might find i just honestly believe that marshall's is the way to go i always feel like you have the better selection and more items and i feel it's just a lot more cheaper in price so definitely always make sure you check that out if you're ever shopping at tj maxx or marshall's or home goods so the last two items that I found, and these were while I was shopping um, regularly, is this really cute hand sanitizer carrying case that's by Ray Dunn. It's in black and it says clean. Here in the back says Ray Dunn and it is a hand sanitizer holder with a travel bottle. So it does not include the hand sanitizer and these were for $6. Um, they're absolutely really cute. It comes, it latches off. So you can always keep using this and you just have to refill the bottle for your own, you know, you use your own hand sanitizer and it's a perfect carrying case. I actually have a few of these that I have with me and I absolutely love this one that I saw with the black. It looks so perfect. Like it goes with my outfit for today and we're matching it's absolutely so cute and these are really helpful to have when you're going out if you um, want to carry one around your keychain it does come with a little latch lock where you can hang it on um, or if you are you know you have a purse or a satchel or anything like that or a backpack it will be perfect it's the perfect accessory and the other new thing that i found is this done fun mug this is so cute i absolutely love it um this was 5.99 tj max and i just find this so funny because i feel like this is my life now i feel that i have to put like so much of change or money and i just spend so much with radon and this is like so cute and it's like a little reminder of like okay you need your own little fun because you have a radon obsession and i absolutely love this it's so cute i love it so those are two items that i found and i actually have one more really awesome item that i want to show you guys so this is my unique experience i don't know if it's, if this has happened to any of you guys while shopping um so i was at tj maxx one day and i was in the home decor section where they have all the frames and like all the beautiful artwork that you can buy and hang on your walls so i found this really cool ray dunn piece and i was just really sad because the it was brand new and it was the only one on the sales floor i didn't see any other one around but it was damaged so one recommendation that i do have for you guys is if you find something at tj maxx or marshall's or home goods now don't quote me on it i just recommend that you guys ask it doesn't hurt to ask so it was the only one on the sales floor again like i said and i really wanted it so i took it to the register and i let them know you know like this is the only one that i found on your sales floor but i noticed that there is some damage into it so um they then spoke to their manager and advised them about what damage was on the item and they were able to give me a small little discount. So I do recommend that you guys talk to um, when you go into, you know, to get to the cash register, let them know. Um, but definitely do look to see if there are any other ones on the sales floor. Don't lie. Um, just be honest. If you see that there's nothing there and you really do want it, you can either one, look for it at another TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods, but you do run the chance of not finding it. And if you go back to the store and then that one's no longer there, then you miss out, which it can happen. Um, or just go ahead and let them know um, and they might be able to give you a small little discount. So I got this really, really cute Ray Dunn sign. It's really long, so I'm gonna try and show as much as I can. It says home sweet home 
and it has a silhouette of California that's made out of wood and absolutely love this. I really, really, really love this sign. It's so beautiful and so just, you know, unique. It's California, which I do live here in California. And um, me and my husband have been in the talks of moving out of the state of California. Um, but that's a whole nother story for another video. But our hopes are to be moving to another state. And I thought this would be such a cute keepsake to keep with us if we do end up leaving um, within the next few years out of the state. That way I always have California with me. So this is the damage that I was talking to you guys right here. If you can see it, it looks like they may have pasted a tag or something, but whoever um, pulled it off ended up ruining the material of the sign. So it kind of looks almost like when you put a sticker on a cardboard box and then you rip it off or a piece of tape and then it starts taking off the layer of the cardboard. I think that's what happened here. So originally, I believe this was priced for... Let me see. I think I want to say it was $20. So they marked it down to $15. They gave me a $5 discount. Now, the only thing is I want you guys to keep note of this is if you do go ahead and talk to them and let them know about the damage of your item and that you want to purchase it. If they do um, discount it for you, just as a heads up, I'm not sure if every store is the same. But mine did advise me that it would be final sale. So I would not be able to return it later on. And it was final sale as as is. So definitely do keep that into consideration. If you guys um, ask and they tell you that it's final sale, you want to make sure you take that into account if you'll be okay with the damage that it has on the item. So that you may not be able to return it. I'm not sure if all stores follow the same policy. It might be that they do. But again, it never hurts to ask. And if you get a steal at a lower price, why not? If it's an item that's so cool, like this sign is really awesome. I've never actually seen pieces like that um, for Ray Dunn. Um, I've seen smaller ones, but not bigger ones like this. So I was really excited and I knew that I, it was just a small little overflow for me. Some people might see it and it looks really big for them, but for me, it was okay of a flaw and I thought I could live with it. It's a really cool piece. Why not? So I absolutely purchased it. Okay, guys. So that does it for my TJ Maxx clearance haul and I am super excited that I, again, keep doing this continuation with you guys. I absolutely enjoy doing these videos. As I slowly wind down, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys a little bit more details of the direction of my channel. So right now I'm doing hauls of specific brands that I have collected and that I have had found in thrift stores. So eventually when I do run out of that, I am going to be doing larger hauls of items that I find as a bulk, as in like if I go to Goodwill, if I find a Ray Dunn piece, if I find like an anthropology piece, if I find, you know, a cool, unique bag, like a coach bag, um, or a Disney Parks item or a Disney item overall or anything like that. It's going to be a mixture of different items that I'm going to show you guys on my videos. It's not going to be specifically just on one brand, but that's what I'm doing right now, is sharing a lot of the cool pieces that I find when I do these bigger bulk hauls of like items that I find during the uh, thrifting season. So I am very excited to go in deeper and show you guys more of what other items I get while doing thrift trips. I'm also going to be sharing a little bit more about me as a whole and my adventures on thrifting and also some more tips, some more opinions on what I think would be um, helpful for you guys if you feel if I feel that there's something that I could share with you to better the experience of thrifting things to avoid things to look out um, things to just overall look when thrifting then I really want to go ahead and share that I might also as well start videoing myself while thrifting you know showing the experience from to the car to the store back home and the hall so just a lot of stuff going into account and I'm really excited to be doing these videos and sharing with you guys all the knowledge that I have. I don't really 
I'm not really an expert I would call myself, but I absolutely love sharing what I know. And if I can help anyone else as well, then I absolutely adore that factor. So again, if you guys ever do have any questions, um, any comments are welcome. Again, so again, if you guys haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate if you did and hit that notification bell again to be notified when a new video is dropped. And again, thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. Make sure that you stay safe out there and have a wonderful week. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.